प्लीज बी सीटेड most welcome your excellency Thank you very much and please be seated. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, as you have just witnessed, the VAC contingent commanded by ex warrant officer class one, Kuma Emmanuel, just marched on parade. We shall now have the Christian and Muslim prayers by Lieutenant Colonel Ajiman and Imam Kwe Nuruddin. Atukui.
the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gracious and merciful God, it is always in you that we live and move and have our being. So we thank you this morning for the precious gift of our lives and for the gift of our nation, Ghana. We thank you for the peace and prosperity that we are enjoying. We ask you, Lord, to continue to bless the executive, the legislature, and the judiciary as they work to promote the welfare of your people. We also ask you, Lord, to bless our security personnel, both serving and retired. Be the assured as they defend and protect us. We thank you for the lives of all our gallant heroes and for the sacrifices that they have made. For those who have fallen, Father, we pray that you grant them eternal rest into your kingdom. We now pray for the repose of the souls of Sergeant Ajete, Corporal Atipo, and Private Odate Lamte. Father, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and let your perpetual light shine upon them forever. Gracious and merciful God, bless the families of these three departed heroes whose commemoration we observe this morning. We ask that you open a new chapter of blessing, a chapter of joy and peace in their families. Merciful God, bless all of us on prayer this morning. Help us to continue to be good ambassadors of our dear country. We ask all this through the anointing blood and the atoning blood of Jesus, who died and rose on the third day. And by the power of his atonement, we seek divine protection upon ourselves and upon our country. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, and our one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us continue to glorify God. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem. Bismillahi rahmani rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Malik yawm al-Din iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in Ihdina sirat al-mustaqim Sirat al-ladhin an'amta alayhim Waril maghdubi alayhim Amen. Almighty God, I indeed our creator, our cherisher, and our sustainer. Once again, we thank you for blessing us with this glorious day. A day we have set aside for our flag raising and retailing. We continue to thank you copiously for all your countless blessings you've given to us to this moment. Most especially, making our fallen heroes as a source and agents of change. May your face, O oh Lord, and your continuous continue to lead us as a nation. May you endow our current leaders, our current generation, and generation with an inspiration and that sense of dedication, patriotism, and above all, sense of nationalism for the betterment of our country, our nation, Ghana, and for humanity at large. Spana Rabbika Rabbi Izzati Mai Sifun. Wassalamu alayhi wa salim. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Amen. Thank you very much, the clergy. At this juncture, I humbly call on ex warrant officer class one, Kuma Robert, to read the modified version of the history of the 28th February crossroads shooting incident. of 28th February, Christian Bob Cross Road shooting incident. The 28th February, Christian Bob Cross Road shooting incident is celebrated every year to honor the who in 1948 were killed by the colonial police while marching peacefully to Osu Castle to present a petition 
to the then government. During the Second World War, soldiers of the Gold Coast Regiment of the Royal West African Frontier Forces fought alongside the Allied forces. At the end of the war, there was increased agitation by anti-colonial movements for independence for the colonies in Southeast Asia and Africa. The war veterans who had fought so gallantly and has received high commendation were demobilized at the end of the war and paid a pittance by way of war gratuity of about one shilling a day. The ex-servicemen were naturally not happy with the gratuity. They thought the British government, which then ruled the Gold Coast, will, in appreciation of the sacrifices that had been made, pay gratuities in the right proportion to those sacrifices. In addition to this, several appeals made by the soldiers to the authority fell on deaf ears. After a period of waiting for reasonable war benefits to be paid, which were not forthcoming, the ex-servicemen decided that a direct approach should be made to the British governor and commander-in-chief of the Gold Coast Regiment, Sir Gerald Gracie. On Saturday, 28th February, 1940, a number of unarmed ex-servicemen were on a march from Accra to the Christiansburg Castle to present a petition to the governor and the commander-in-chief. When they were intercepted at the Christiansburg crossroads by a contingent of armed policemen led by a British superintendent, Mr. Imre. The superintendent ordered the air servicemen to disperse. When his orders were disobeyed, he gave another order to the police to open fire. When this second order was not complied with, Mr. Imri fired at the air servicemen, killing Sergeant Ajete, Corporal Atipu, Gati Lamti. The news about the death of the gallant air servicemen spread rapidly, leading to a situation where law and order broke down in Accra and other parts of the country. This encouraged anti-colonial movement to press the British government to institute a committee to investigate the killing and general disorder. The committee recommended self-government for the whole coast. This subsequently led to attainment of political independence for the country. Thank you. It is now time for the VAC roll call. This will be done by Fleet Chief Petty Officer Bediako Solomon. Roll call. 176-688. W.O. 1 Moses Asumedu. 172950 Copra NS Odequay GC 36098 GC 36098 Sergeant Ajete GC 36098 Sergeant Ajete, 181885, W01 Sefa Kwame, 
0657-0261. Copra Dexin Bediako. GC 27819. Corporal Atipu. 27819. Corporal Atipu. GC 27819. Corporal Atipu. 169. 259 Sergeant Amuafu 164281 Stop Jin no. C 37209 Private Odate Lamte Jin C 37209 Private Odate Lamte GC 37209 Lamte It has pleased the Almighty God to take the souls of the veterans of, of our midst to heaven. May the soul of the departed veterans rest in perfect peace. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. We shall commence the flag raising ceremony. I respectfully request all to rise for the sounding of the last post as we pay the appropriate compliments.
Thank you very much, Your Excellency. I humbly invite the Chief of the Defense Staff, Lieutenant General Obed Buama Akwa, to lay the second wreath on behalf of the Ghana Armed Forces and other security services. Sir.
Thank you very much, sir. I will now humbly call on the Chairman of the Veterans Administration, Ghana, Major General Yache, retired, to lay the next wreath on behalf of all veterans. Thank you very much, sir. I now humbly invite the Otsumanche, Ni Okwe Kinka, the Wona the Sixth, to lay the fall free on behalf of the traditional authorities and the community.
thank you very much, Lee. The fifth riff will be laid by me, Okan Imashi the first, on behalf of the families of the fallen soldiers. Thank you very much, Lee. One our dignitaries for laying their wreaths in honor of our fallen soldiers. Very soon, we are getting to the end of the 72nd anniversary of the 28th February crossroad shooting incident. We shall now have the closing prayer and benediction. this morning for how far you have brought us as a nation. We thank you for the peace that we are enjoying and we ask, O oh Lord, for your continual blessings upon ourselves. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon all of us and remain with us now and forever. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, sir.
Shall we please rise for the national anthem? All personnel in uniform will salute. Please be seated. Distinguished invited guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the end of today's ceremony. I kindly request that we all remain seated while the dignitaries on the days take leave of us. The rest of us will follow in order as protocol demands. His Excellency the Vice President will interact with the veterans as he departs. Ladies and gentlemen, I humbly crave your indulgence as I read the program lined up for the 23rd Independence Anniversary Celebration. Yes. The 63rd Independence Anniversary Celebration, sorry. On Saturday, the 29th February, we will have a health and fitness walk under the theme consolidating our game and this will be done throughout the nation there will also be a cleanup exercise throughout the nation particularly in the ashanti region there will be a christian prayer and thanksgiving service on sunday first march in all churches nationwide there will also be what do you know show at the Great Hall at KNUST, Kumasi. On Monday, the 2nd March 2020, we will have a National Flag Hoisting Day. Also, there will be the President's Independence Day Awards for school children, and this will be done at the Accra International Conference Center. On Tuesday, 3rd March 2020, we will have the Ashanti World Day. And this will be done throughout the nation. On Wednesday, 4th March 2020, there will be the 63rd Anniversary Street Carnival at the Kumasi City Hall. City Mall, sorry. And on Thursday, 5th March 2020, there will be the reenactment of the Declaration of Independence at the old polo grounds. Also on the same day, we will have the 23rd, the 63rd anniversary fireworks by the military at the regional capitals. On Friday, the 6th of March 2020, we'll have the 63rd Independence Anniversary Parade at the Babayara Sports Stadium in Kumasi. And on the Saturday, 7th...
keep us in words. May Allah keep us in words from the Nationalism Park. And uh, as part of the commemoration of uh, the crossroad shooting, I have here with me the PRO for, for the VAG, the Veterans Association of Ghana, uh, Mr. W.O. Sebefia. And I have v, uh, Joseph Yadombwache. He's also a contemporary veteran who also had a, a bit of uh, the 1948 riot. Uh, Mr. Sebrefia, I'd I like to, to, to start with you. Um, what are the memories that the 1948 riots comes along with when you experience commemoration of this sort? Uh, a little correction here. Uh, the name of the organization is Veterans Administration Ghana, not Veterans Association of Ghana. And my name is XW1 Brad Sebrefia. The memory is a uh, rekindling of uh, patriotism in Ghanaians that we should rededicate our efforts towards the development of this nation. All right, right. Um, Mr. Kuma, uh, I don't know, but I was told initially that there is contemporary veterans and there is veterans who experience the war. I, I feel one way or the other, you surely have a feel or you surely know what happened back then. What are the memories that this very commemoration comes along with. Uh, my name is Joseph Yadombwache, sorry. Yeah. Uh, what comes into my mind is that revive uh, the independence of Ghana. Uh, the soldiers sacrificed their life for the whole Ghana. That is what I can say. Yes, so as I said, there, there are veterans um, who, who experienced the war and they are called the war veterans and we have contemporary veterans or soldier men or military persons who also felt that okay fine since we are not part of the that area we still feel that we are still part of the veterans or military people that experienced that very year or that very incident one way or the other mr sebrefia w.o sebrefia let me let me get you the the, the right um, uh, titles, eh? um, what are the things that you feel the government should add up to probably next year's commemoration? Uh, infrastructure wise, I think you can see the ground where we are standing at the moment. Uh, it's, it's not good enough. This is a national monument. I think more attention needs to be given to uh, this uh, ground. It should be green, it should be green all year and it should, there should not be any sort of uh, people should not be allowed to be working through here there should be better attention paid to this ground so that when uh, contingents and other dignitaries work on it they are, their shoes will not change color just because of the nature of the ground yes i i think i feel what you're saying one way or the other most of the times you you you, uh, you take this route you go the other end and you feel people have this place as their bedrooms and other things. I think they should try and find a way to keep those things. Um, Mr. Joseph Yadam Boache, do you also share the same sentiment as? I share a paper of you. And I think uh, how even we are protected is not all that. The sun has always been beating us. So the, the sitting situation should be changed. If you change the sitting situation, and uh, the kind of peace to be changed, they make it just more comfortable for we, the old man, we are old, we are old. so we must get a comfortable place. So we all want to step here. Let me come back to you, sir. What makes you think the government should add up in terms of monetary fund in order to help these veterans? One way or the other, I feel they should add more money, more more facilities for them to live with their family. You know, they suffered a lot. And I'm told that there's only one war veteran around now. That is not true. We have one, one, one surviving war veterans. Well, the single one you are referring to has to do with the membership of the contingent, uh, a greater Accra contingent. Uh, there is only one surviving war veteran on that contingent, but nationwide we have one, one, one surviving 
veterans. Yes. And uh, our, uh, our main headache, the major headache for Veterans Administration Ghana is healthcare. Healthcare. When retired military personnel uh, seek uh, healthcare from uh, any military facility, health facility in the nation, uh, we don't think that the right attention is given them. Uh, they will have to go and buy their medication. It is only when they are on admission that the state fully takes care of them. But as soon as they are discharged, the, the purchase of their medication becomes their main uh, their, uh, problem. So that is why we are making this humble appeal that uh, healthcare provision, which is part of the uh, service conditions of military personnel, should be looked at again. Prior to this commemoration, was that addressed already? Uh, we have raised this on several fora, uh, but uh, we don't think much attention is being paid to it. Said so that uh, many veterans are complaining that uh, healthcare provision is not the best. Something needs to be done about it. It needs to be elevated so that we really feel appreciated. Our contribution to nation, this nation is really appreciated. Thank you so much for your time, sir. I really appreciate And uh, we came to you from the Nationalism Park here in Accra, Osu. I go by the name so as Alex is Sam. We are live on GBC News, GTV, GBC Online, and GBC uh, Facebook pages. Thank you so much.